jobs. Robert Reich, Secretary of the Labor, says, you know, we need to help Americans get jobs. We need a national data bank. The state employment commissions are not doing a good enough job. We're going to have a national data bank. And everyone's job will go into the bank. Everyone's name and job. And when they change jobs or whatever, then we know that that job is available and we can plug everybody in. We need a national data bank. Now, Donna Shalala has a good idea. She asked Congress to give her $100 million. She's Secretary of Health, Human Services, and, and Lesbian Associations of America. Did I get that? No, I'm assistant. I think I got her job title a little mixed up. But I think that's her unofficial title. But Donna Shalala says that the government needs $100 million right away because we need a national data bank to put all the kids in it to make sure they get their vaccinations. You bad parents, moms? You're not getting your kids' vaccinations, and so Super Nanny will make sure you do at the government level. The Jewish ADL, which, you know, seems to hate both the Old Testament and New Testament alike, uh, the Jewish ADL says that haters need to be tracked with a national database. Haters, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes on and on, and of course Hillary wanted to give everybody a universal health care card with benefits that you could never lose. Nothing could be taken away from you. Hmm. You see, my friends, there's a thousand reasons why we need universal biometrics ID cards and why Project Lucid is the only way to go. Doesn't it sound so good? I even agree to some of these things myself. Do you start to think a little bit about the final result of these things? Well, Who's doing these things? Who is this National Security Agency? Well, again, inquiring minds want to know. And so I always start by going to the source. And so I called up, of course, I, mean, I did have books. There's one book called The Puzzle Palace written by Bamford. There's other books about the NSA. They, they're really not too good. I think they're really written by CIA agents. You know, they really are, you know. They act like they're going to give you a little bit of information, but they just lead you, you know. You're on some detour somewhere. I think, I really think the government funds through CIA and FBI and such more book publications than the than New York publishing houses do sometimes. In any case, I wanted to know about the NSA. Well, my congressman couldn't tell me, my senators, they said, well, we do know that they get most of their money from the black budget. There is a black budget. And only a few members of Congress, the, you know, the elite heads of the various intelligence oversight committees and such, they know what's in this black budget, okay? And the NSA is part of that. Well, I just simply said, okay, so you don't know how much money, how many tens of billions they blow of our money. But could you just tell me, please, could you tell me uh, what is the statutory authority? Every government agency is created by law, right? Did you know they weren't created by a law? Now, these people spend about 20 times as much as the FBI or the CIA. And there's no law that even creates it. I found out that it was created in 1952 out of thin air by presidential order of Harry Truman, a 33rd degree Mason. Just created out of thin air in 1952. And ever since, they've been working for your welfare and my benefit somewhere in the world. During the Cold War, of course, it seemed good. But now there's no Cold War. I mean, they love us over there. They're flying around in space with us. Of course, did you notice they wouldn't let Shannon Lucid touch their controls? Sort of an insult to womanhood, you know. They didn't have any cooking stove up there. She couldn't cook. And they wouldn't let her touch the controls. And by the way, while we're talking about space, isn't it fascinating that the Russians get, you know, half the publicity, but we get to pay the whole bill? You know? I just read that the, the NASA, National Space Agency, has decided that in this space platform that you're all spending billions of dollars for, that the commander of it does not necessarily have to be an American. So I guess the American astronauts will be up there working for, you know, a Japanese or a Frenchman or whatever. You know, who knows? Somebody from, I, yeah, who knows? Nicaragua. Probably some drug overlord down there will be up in space as a commander of a platform. Next thing, uh, uh, who knows? 
And of course, our troops now, under Presidential Decision Directive 95, can work for all these foreign commanders and everything. Isn't that amazing? Now the space platform, well, you know when they said potentially, it means there's going to be one, right? We're going to be up there working for the Ruskies or a Lithuanian or whatever. And I really don't mind if they paid the bills, right? Well, the National Security Agency, I wrote them and I called them. And they were very nice to me. And I told them I was researching them a bit. Hmm, what is your name, sir, and your address? And it's so interesting. They didn't want to say much uh, to me, but they did send me a brochure. Now, this is a copy of that brochure. Now, it's got a little line down the middle because, you know, one of those brochures that, like, opens up real fancy like a PR agency does? And it tells you a little bit about the National Security Agency, this super secret government agency that nobody will tell you anything about. No books, no nothing. But it's interesting. There's quite a bit in here for a Christian. In fact, I suspect you'll get a little, you'll glean a little bit of information when I read something to you. You see, I also wanted to know what the symbol meant. I'm a big one on symbols and logos. They have meaning, folks. They really do. The occult world is ridden with this esoteric meaning of symbols, numbers, colors, the whole thing. Well, I noticed it was the eagle. Well, we know the great American eagle, symbol of authority and power. All right, it's a government agency. You know, it's not lawful, but that's okay. It's still a government agency. But I noticed there was a key in its talons or its claws, a key. I thought, what could this key be? What does it turn? Now, I know in Revelation it says that Jesus Christ openeth the door that no man can shut it and shuts the door that no man can open. That's happened in my ministry. In fact, that's, that's really one of my favorite verses. God can open doors for you. Do you know that? Amen? Well, these people have a key too. What doors are they opening? I wanted to know. I have an inquiring mind. And so I read here. They actually tell you about their insignia or their symbol. Here's what they say, for example. They do talk about the the various colors and all. They say it, it clutches a silver key, the eagle, which is, of course, they say, they confirm, is a symbol of power and authority. So what is the key? It says here that the key, I'm going to read right out, the key and the eagle's talons, as its claws, representing the key to security, evolves from the emblem of St. Peter the Apostle and his power to loose and to bind. Wow. A government agency has the power to loose and to bind? Now, I went to my Bible, and there I read it. In Matthew, it says that Peter, uh, you know, uh, Jesus says, uh, th this, uh, you're given the authority to loose and to bind things on heaven and in earth. Well, NSA, satellites in space, all over the world, communication systems, cryptology, secret coding and so forth. They have the capability now to wiretap hundreds and hundreds of thousands of telephones simultaneously. They're watching us at all times. But I thought about that. The power to loose and to bind seems a little bit illegal. I mean, don't they talk about separation of church and state? And now we have a government agency with a power, St. Peter's key to loose and to bind on heaven and in earth. Where is Madeline Murray O'Hare when we need her so much? <laughs> you know? Well, not too long ago, a congressman named Neil Smith, he's a Democrat, but at this time that he put